In 2005, the government came up with the Greenfield Project Master Plan, which covers the construction of a second terminal to decongest the existing passenger terminal facility and apron connecting taxiways and the associated landside and airside facilities at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The project was also meant to provide capacity to handle the projected traffic growth from the current 5.5 million passengers annually to 10.9 million passengers by 2015. But the Greenfield project, which is the sixth phase of the whole development program at the JKIA, has now scuttled the much-needed expansion and rehabilitation program at the country's leading airport. The new Look Airport was scheduled to be up and running by June next year, but the cancellation of the final phase of the project basically scuttles the entire project. Honorable Amos Kimunya, please. This despite a commitment to the president by Transport Minister Amos Kimunya during the launch of the KQ rights issue in March that all was on course. The expansion right now in creating the 2.5 million capacity through that new Unit 4, uh, we expect that to be through by within the, this year. Uh, target date was August. We are hoping we can get it faster than that. One of the casualties of the minister's decision to stop the 56 billion shilling tender is Kenya's quest to Category 1 status to allow direct flights by commercial passenger planes from U.S. And what is puzzling even more is the position taken by the Kenya Airports Authority Board, which has now turned to absolve itself of any blame and instead pointing an accusing finger at its own management. We only learned about the notifications in January. And that's why the board met immediately and resolved to, to stop the process. The standoff between the Transport Ministry, the Attorney General, the Prime Minister's Office and Parliament now putting the urgently needed multi-billion shilling project in jeopardy. JKIA directly contributes about 10.9% of the national GDP and is also an enabler of other sectors of the economy covering tourism and horticulture. For News at 8, I'm Bella Genga.